Again, the uppercut. But the crowd is aroused because Evangelista is trying to fight. Go at him. Go at him. Go at him. Now Evangelista back against the ropes. And you saw him miss with the left. Holmes is very purposeful. Methodical. Any questions about Evangelista's physical fitness before the fight should be put to rest here and now. The man certainly appears to be. And in that last wild flurry where he sought to get inside and do damage, he certainly showed vigor and strength, energy. We've got not a bad catcher either. <laughs> We've got 30 seconds left in the fifth round. Remember Holmes, though he has 19 KOs, is not per se a knockout puncher. It takes rounds of accumulated punishment rendered unto the opponent for Larry to score a knockout or a TKO. We're coming to the end of the fifth round. The bell for the sixth round. Between rounds this time, they repaired a cut under Evangelista's left eye. Under, not over, so a flow of blood will not be a problem. But that left cheek is all puffed up. And we've already told you the right eye is puffed too. That's accumulative punishment that I talked about in the fifth round. See that eye, the left eye? See the redness and the cut under it? All right, put it in there. Right to the body, man, right to the body. When Evangelista swings and misses wildly like that and then tries to barrel in, that's when Holmes inevitably goes to the uppercut. And he has used the uppercut at least five times tonight, every time effective. Once again in this round, Holmes is fighting flat-footed. Only in the fourth round did he show the movement that he has shown against Norton and Shavers. We've explained why he doesn't even feel the need in this fight. He is using Evangelista as a sparring partner. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you. As you said, it'll be an accumulation of punishment that ultimately may stop the fight before it travels the distance. Right. I think we might very well be looking at a second successive shutout. It certainly is a shutout thus far. to the belly as Evangelista tried to play rope-a-dope. We've got 55 seconds left in the sixth round. It's been a repeat facsimile of the prior five rounds. Evangelista again with the rope-a-dope. That right got through. That one missed. Thirty seconds left. I think Holmes would like to knock him out to show some folks that he does have a knockout punch. Evangelista. Putting on thus far and absolutely nothing showing as we approach the end of the round. This action, the start of the seventh round. I use the word action advisedly, measuredly, because Evangelista has given us none of it. Holmes is now on his toes and for the second time in the fight has changed his tactics, showing movement. Holmes has been, as you've seen, scoring simply at will. An evening's workout. I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we will take a station break.
Eddie Marfus in Evangelista's corner is holding his head low and just shaking it. Openly embarrassed by what's been going on. Venus grows under each Evangelista eye. Holmes proved his ability to go 15 tough rounds against North and 12 against Shavers. So going 15 should be no problem for him, especially at this kind of pace, which he's setting at his own women fancy. I don't think there's any question but what he has now realized he can measure the man and he is really trying hard to put him away. But he well I think he So what happened in the seventh round? I don't have the official time yet. Just as we were saying, Holmes wanted to prove that he could hit. It happened at two minutes and 14 seconds of the seventh round. And so Larry Holmes in a doleful fight based upon the total ineptitude of Evangelista remains the WBC heavyweight champion. But Larry did what he wanted to do. He knocked the opponent out. Now we'll try and get Larry Holmes over here. All right, let's look at that knockout again. Now Holmes measuring the opponent, and he got the right in there, and down went Evangelista, right between the gloves. That was the blow he wanted to get in. It was a crushing right hand. It appeared that uh, Evangelista had his guard up sufficiently, but the right hand went at it with such velocity that he went right through it and landed flush on the side of the head. And down the challenger tumbled, and it took some time to get him up. And he is still very groggy. Here's the decision. A formality, considering the circumstances of the fight. Evangelista was never in it. I did not have him uh, winning a single round, nor any even for that matter as Holmes had his will and way from the very beginning. But it became obvious about the fifth round that Larry was going to try to reach back for whatever he could find and try to put his man away and put to rest some of the nagging suggestions that he does not carry the knockout punch. But you saw it there, a right hand with tremendous velocity coming on top of a succession of lefts and bang, 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 uh, finally down he went. We'll be back with more from Caesars Palace Sports Pavilion in Las Vegas, Nevada, right after this from our local...